yes. Because she gets good, it gets good food. It gets it. good food and it gets good sex. So what else are you looking for? The man goes outside. What does he go to do outside? Is it food or sex? Because marriage is not built on sex and food. There are other things that make it to make it work. If any of those things may be lacking, does she respect the man? Is the house in peace or the home in peace? So there are some other things apart from sex and food. Those are not the only three things that builds up marriage. So the woman also has to check herself if there is anything she cannot provide or again, what is the man going to find outside? She should try and find out whether she has that thing apart from sex and food that the man goes to find outside. But that does not give room for any man to leave his wife and something the else. Man, the man abuses her. Abuses her? Abuses her, batters her. How? Words, physically, it, she wasn't abused, it's like. You know, for me personally, when I hear a woman says a man batters her, I would like to hear from the man's side why she did that. Because maybe this woman is also battering the man with his mouth or with her mouth. Okay. So, are you for, I'm still with you, sir. I'm still with you. Are you for, no matter what a woman does to the man, the woman should just slap him, beat him, box her, or anything? There is, there is no situation that should warrant that. But then, if the woman is the cause of the battering, she should also check herself. Uh, for, uh, from the question that you ask, the woman has given the husband quality sex, am I right? Yes, sir. And good food. So, I will, I'm in the opinion that um, the woman have done what she's supposed to do. Because if the woman has any fault in it, the quality sex will not have come in. And the good food will not have come in. So, my advice is that man needs deliverance. Because these two things is able to keep the family. So the man must go for deliverance. Thank so you. Let me ask a question. Let me ask him a question, sir. Okay. Okay, this brings me to my question. Please try if we are going to come to everybody. Basically, how does a woman quantify uh, knowing that she's giving quality sex? Definitely the man is saying maybe you are good. Something like that. It's comment me now. Okay. So she must have measured her food taste and her quality time with her husband with something. For her to know that she is giving real good food and sex. Uh, yes, that is the point I'm trying to make now. Because, um, you know, when they are together, he, that is the man, might have mentioned how this woman is good on bed. And also while eating, he also commended for the good food that the woman is cooking. That's why I see that if the two things are working together at home, and the man is still going outside, he needs deliverance. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Let's give it to him. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Yes. I want to say that um, since the, the man has uh, testified that the wife gives him quality sex and good food, and yet the woman now is saying that he's being uh, cheated on, I want to say, I hope the woman is not assuming. Is she sure that the husband actually cheated on her? That's one thing. Then secondly, what of if she has presented the man good food and quality sense, but her dressing pattern in the house discourages or does not attract the man to remain at home? Because most men, when they move outside, what they see at times is what they want. They see that kind of dressing, and when you come back home, your wife is looking aged, she's not very fine, don't admire her, but you can just have sex with her. You can eat her food, but you don't admire her. But your eyes are shook to admire what you see outside. That can make him go out there, but... Some, some women are disagreeing, sir. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Let's go to somebody I, else. Let's hear somebody else's opinion. Let's praise the Lord. We are here, ma. Yes. We are here. Yes. The women are protesting already. Yes. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes, ma. I think the Bible said two shall become one. 
Uh -huh. We are removing somebody from somewhere. Then mama said, is food or sex the way to a man's heart? So many men raised up their hand. For which one? For sex. Yes. I want to add another thing to what mama said. Is food and sex the way to a woman's heart? Or what is the way to a woman's heart? Yes, woman to have heart now. Please, let's hear from him. We can answer that question ourselves. Let's hear from him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to comment on Pastor Archibald. He said the man went out, probably sees the way other ladies dresses. I think the proper thing for that man, I, I, number one, I'm with Pastor Nzidibe, he needs deliverance. But if, let's, re, let's remove deliverance first. As a man who good food and quality sex satisfies him, yet he goes out, he goes out to chase after other women. Reason being that the way they dress is, if you love it, come home, tell your wife. It's as simple as that. Tell your wife, except there's something that needs to be delivered. Praise the Lord. Our, our brother there, everybody will have their say, please. You see, uh, nowadays, um, most marriages, and uh, like we don't really face the practical things. There are some men, with, uh, there are some men, whether, they like, well, whether the woman, even though he cook good food and give good, good sex, like in Europe now, most of the white, they like woman with the boobs. Why the black man? They like a man, a woman with the back, with the back. So you see, there are some men. Whether you like it or not, whether he give a good, good food, good sex, he just have so to go out. So you're telling me because wait, wait. He just he will want to eat. He not only rice, he will be eating every day. He want to eat a bar. He want to eat a cook. You want to eat uh, um, uh, whatever. So that's just it. That's it. That's it. That's the fact. See, yeah, see, wait, sir, wait, let wait. Me, let, me, let me draw you. Let me yeah. draw something. You mentioned something that, you know, African women, Afri uh, 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 Oyibo uh, people yeah. like the, yeah, front. Exactly. And we like back. Yeah. So, but it's not all women that carry. Are you telling me that you, if the woman doesn't have front, the man will run for front somewhere yeah, else? Uh, it, it does what? You know, to be practical. Wait, wait, wait. You know, see, the reason why, the reason why a woman will have to now come back to church, you have to be born again. If one is born again, it's good for the woman. You have to encourage your man. To, you know, once, once they be able to kind of sit down, have a quiet time. What about this? Because he's, he's, he's just, if he's a, living a normal life, he will always go out. Okay, thank you, sir. I like it. I believe, first of all, the family lack communication. A man and a woman should be able to have a communication. If the man knows that he's not satisfied with what it, the woman might think the food or the sex is giving the man, a man is okay with it. But if the man knows that he's not okay with it, he's supposed to confront the woman. And I believe in the area of um, maltreat or abuse the woman, maybe the man is giving, um, let me say, maybe advice based on that, um, I don't know how to put it anyway, based on that communication, like maybe I'm not satisfied with what you are giving me, thinking that what you are giving me is okay by me. So the man is, was deceiving, deceiving and that's what you are saying? Yes. Okay. Yeah. What do you think will be the basis of that deceit? Why would a man deceive her? If you don't cook well, no man will tell you you don't cook well. Well, that's what I said earlier. Lack of communication. Okay. Yes. Thank you, sir. There's somebody here that wants to air our view. Praise the Lord. Mama, I've already said it. When there is love, love kisses to everything. When there is love in that home, 
the man can come to her and tell her, this is what I want, this is what I do not want. I can use my own example. Nobody is perfect on this way, said God. One day my husband came in and I said, um, I, I love this Esther that lady, ladies are doing now and then. And he, he, he tell me the name that is dead. I said, I do have 10,000 naira for dead. Now I said, don't worry, I will give you money, you will do it. I think some of our men, if they see something outside, they see that they can approach or tell their wife, sit down. This is what, this is how I want you to be blessing. This is how I want you to be blessed. This some women they will tie up our money tonight with you know. Thank you, my sister. Of so it still boils down to communication. Speak to each other with each other. Yes, the last person on that on that um, praise God. Uh, in my own opinion. At least, you should be able to open up to your woman. It's not everything that, okay, for now, for instance, you keep it within yourself for you to cheat on her. But if you have a good communication with her at home, you tell her what you want, what you like, then she may able to, if she cannot give it to you, you let her to know the reason she has to. And yes, give her the time, the reason, the why, the reason why she needs to. So it's not that because you are married and you want to cheat, because as a man, you purposely want to cheat on that woman. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Last person, praise, please. Praise the Lord. People are... I believe politics says and uh, good food is not what makes you home. There are a lot of things put together that make you home. So you're not having quality says and good food. But I don't have the quality says. Sex is just like back and can. When you withdraw, you lose interest. And you after eating, when you eat and satisfy something else. But I just want to comment on what he said. That maybe you somehow good front and feel you back. Before you marry this person, you know what she has. The problem we make is this. We marry for physical appearance. If you marry someone for love, Honestly speaking, no matter what comes up, you will stand. When I married my wife, I called her one oko, very, very skinny. But look at her now. What if I had married her because of her physique? We will have faded. So that's the mistake we make. We we'll just see and say, okay, you are married them because of the speck. So we say. And at the end of the day, when that speck is no longer there, the interest go to the dustbin. So I want to round up that question this way. It means that communication is key. Speak to your wife about what you like and what you don't like. It means that before you pick a wife, you won't look at just her physical appearance. If you've married her, that means you've accepted everything concerning her. Now, what we are supposed to do is to teach the woman communication. It's still communication. Now, if the man tells the woman this and that and this, and the woman still can't do it, maybe you teach her. You probably take her out, spend money on her, take her to somebody that can teach her. People teach people how to dress. People teach people how to walk. Sit down. Talk. Cook. There's nothing they don't teach people of. You, ask, you wish not to go out and cheat on your wife. You come home, spend money to tush her up. Tush your wife up. I said you want to marry a old cargo and you will not go out. Then the man, it's not serious. Amen? We are serious here, serious matter. How many of us men ask our wife, do you enjoy this sex? communication. How many of us, think about it, how many of us ask? Because it's key. They won't, we, sometimes women can be doing oh, 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 just to trick you, not to, to massage your ego and they're not enjoying the sex thing. Because if she said that, no, enjoy them. If you say, somebody there outside that I can go and you know, so if you ask her genuinely, she knows you want to know. 
so that you can improve. So how many of us do that? Okay, special request. Please, I need that microphone. On special request, I've been told to ask men one by one. Men that are married. Sir, do you ask your wife, do you enjoy this sex? No, it's a, it's a one, one second answer. It has nothing to think no. about. No. Sir, do you ask your wife, do you enjoy this sex? Sometimes it depends. Yes. Ma'am. On what? You ask me a question. Let me answer. Oh, yeah, Sometimes answer. it depends. After we've done it, and both of us are satisfied, the, the question will just come out. Do you, do you enjoy it? But if I, sometimes when you talk, you just want to do. Which so, no, you... what I, I'm not asking every time. Have you ever asked your of wife course, to enjoy sex? I have, I have, yes, ma'am. Nah. Have <laughs> have. Sometimes. Sometimes, sir. I want to answer it in this way. Okay. His wife is not here. But my wife is here. Later, tell whether I do ask or not. No, I'm asking, I'm asking you, sir. No, I'm not asking Permission. you. I'm not asking, madam. See, his wife is not here. It's everybody's before God. We are all before God. So, sir, do you? Your wife will say, if you say yes, your wife will say, no, not lie. And, but if you say yes and it's confirmed, she will just keep quiet. All the time. All the time. Thank you, sir. All the time. Thank you, sir. Occasionally. He said, tell her now. He said, tell her now. What is she supposed to tell me? Occasionally. Occasionally. I do. Uh, occasionally you do. Sir, don't be shy. <laughs> like somebody like me, if I should have my wife that guy in question, he will ask me next time I should know near her again. So no need to ask. <laughs> Hold on. Stop there. Stop right there. Seriously, we're all laughing now. But these issues really build something in the home and in the hearts of people. No, no, no. So, madam, yeah. why would you ask her that? Say, it, repeat what you just said. Say, person like me, if I should have my wife back in question, she will tell me next time I should go near her again. And uh, madam, <laughs> why now? You are surprised to hear it. Give her the mic so that we can hear her. I'm surprised to hear this. Yeah, I'm surprised. So I want to I want to conclude that it doesn't tell you, it doesn't ask you. Do you enjoy sex? Occasionally. Oh my oh God, you don't forget. I'll be in the heat of it, you forgot. Sir. Yes, sir. This one a canality. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be canally minded. Now wow. <laughs> but don't be pastor here. Yeah. Be pastor. When you are with your wife, are you pastor? This, see, the truth is that this morning, when I finished prayer, I had sex. I didn't tell her the you enjoy, but I do, I'm, but not always. Uh -huh. I'm not asking about this money. Oh, yes, every other time. Not always. Thank you for this. <laughs> yes. Sir, sir, sir. Okay. Yeah, I do. You do. Okay. No. No. I have never said that. You've never said it. Start to ask her. Madam, you want him to be asking you, but you want him to be asking you. Yes. Yes. So, please ask her so that you can know. You can perform better. Sir, yes. <clears throat> Sometimes. Sometimes. Hey, I, I reserve my comments. Oh, yes, sir. You. Wonderful. Yes, sir. Madam is beside you. She will testify. She's here now. She will hear. She will yes. Hear. So, do you ask her? Yes, I do. Yes, you do. No, she has confirmed it. Not always. No. Okay. Stop there. She just said not always. So there's something about two people living in a home. Even though the Bible said two becomes one, we are still two different people that have interest in our hearts. So. The reason why we're even talking about this particular issue, because a lot of homes break up. So if occasionally men, you know, women likes reassurance to be sure we're on the right track. Women like reassurance. They want their man to reassure them that, 
okay, this, I think about you. I feel you. I know you. So that question should come always. Always. So, ma, I'll pass out for you. Next person. Thank you, I sir. I do, but not always. Yes. We should do it always. You know, sometimes I know situations can, sometimes we want to relax for the men. We want to ease out stress. But in the course of easing out stress, communicate. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, my, I do. You do. Uh, yes, praise, sir. Praise the Lord. Uh, you know, sometimes they say actions speak more louder than words. You know, sometimes if with the action you to perform, he will tell you she like it. No, I, I disagree. Without, we disagree. Even, we, even when you are not telling her, do you like it? You know that you have tried a lot. Okay, like madam, like do you want a girl to ask you, do you enjoy sex? You see, she's saying yes. Yes. So you need to be asking her. No, I used do to you ask. I ask. I ask. You ask. ask. Yes. God bless you, sir. So, yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I do. You do. God bless you, sir. Yes, I do. And I say thank you. Um, for me to that thank you thing after 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 the action I want to throw this open um, it's good to say thank you to be grateful that means they, yes you are satisfied and you say thank you but study I've shown for the woman, when you tell her thank you, immediately after it, you dampen her morale. So the best time you say thank you is maybe two days after. I enjoyed the last time we spent together. Thank you. No. You know what? It doesn't work for everybody. That's why I say study has shown. Study does not study everybody. Study does not study everybody. For, the, for that study to have shown it, they've gone around various tribes, various nations, various to get those studies. I'm not talking about Nigerian study now. I'm talking about, I'm not talking about South African study. I'm not talking about that. So, just, I'm just telling you what study says. Some women might not really like it. Amen. So please take time to read about that study I spoke about. They are not doing meeting. So another one. How many of us women? I'm going to ask the women because it's going around. How many of us women ask our husband, did you enjoy the sex? Starting with you, ma. Ma. Do you ask him? You have never asked him. So it takes two to tango. That's what it means. Take, you know the tango dance? You can't dance the tango dance alone. It takes two people. You need to communicate. If you, tell, if you had been telling him, one day he would have sang. So, sir, the next person. Ah, no, the woman. Have you ever told your husband you enjoyed the sex? Or you've told your husband, you said this sex this time, I don't really no reach there. No, 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 no. Because our men need to know their level of performance too. So that we stop deceiving ourselves. Because if we do deceive ourselves, it spills over to other things in the home. So, madam, praise the Lord. Do you tell him? Not sex is not sex. So when I need sex, I need sex. Um, so you must go for it. You must give me all I want. Yes. Do you want her to tell you thank you? Okay. So that communication is between the both of you. What yes. works for you, that might not work, madam. Yes. Do you tell your husband that you enjoy the time together? I'm looking at him. Okay. The this is, is a question from inside the house. He used to I ask didn't... me. He always asked me. 
did you enjoy? And I just replied, yes, I did. But do you... <laughs> No, I, you I, asked him, did you enjoy it? He asked before me, so why should I repeat it again? Ah, no. It's two different things, so. He might, he might, you, madam, you might not be meeting his needs. He might be doing, he might be meeting your needs in that area, and you might not meet his needs. But because he doesn't want to hurt you, he will ask you. Do you, and you, because you do, you say yes. But do you ask him, do you, does he? No. No. Yes. You say I you don't should. use to ask. You don't use to ask. Start now. Start to ask. Start to ask. Because, I don't ask yes. I don't you know why we ask these questions? They don't give me. I ask him, do you enjoy it? And he said yes. I'm like a virgin pig. 